What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, B Aftermath, back with another video for you guys. Uh, today, we have finally got my second test results that I've been wanting to give to you guys. Now, I know the last test results was honestly something to get up for you guys just to show that I can, I can pass a test. I mean, pretty much, like, that's what you guys said. Um, I can know that this is just showing that you can pass a test. So therefore, I went um, to get something a lot more detailed done uh, for you guys to further prove my um pretty much my battle in with, with everybody and testosterone and whatnot now between the time uh which was 11 16 uh 2020 to this second test which was taken 12 um 12 30 2020 um you know, I've, I've benched 500, I've squatted, deadlift. You know, you can see my Instagram, see the videos that I put up. Um, you can see my lift numbers that have been through this time frame. And even still now, tomorrow, if you want me to bench 500 or today, whatever, comment below, I'll, I'll do it regardless. Um, but these are my uh, tests of what you guys wanted to see, which is my free test and my testosterone results. So I have the sheet here. Let's get into it. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. All right, so for Primix Clinical Laboratories, uh, let's get down to the nitty gritty. You've pretty much seen all of this in my last um, video that I put up for you guys. So let's go straight down. Cholesterol, usually people on um, supplements have high cholesterol. Uh, mine are in the normal range of 135 to 200 with uh, 145 HDL cholesterol with 54. Uh, and that should be greater than 40. So it says 2.7 is HDL risk ratio of the cholesterol. I think that that's below, it's usually like average is 40 to 60. So it's a below average, which I, I believe is still good. Um, LDL below 100, it's 73. Triglycerides below 150, uh, going down to the nitty gritty. What is that? 5.7. Oh, I believe HGBA1C is for like, uh, yeah, the diabetes. So I, you know, pretty much saying that I have a possible. I'm, I'm kind of entering that risk of entering the risk of entering the risk of getting like diabetes or like uh starting that process so i honestly need to chill out on uh my sugars i just had a pack of oreos <laughs> i need some more vitamin d that's what this says right here actually oh no, it says below below 30 to 100 or through 30 to 100 greater than 30 to 100 oh okay oh well dang i have no vitamin d baby we gotta start taking vitamin d i think you got that problem too you have been? Ah. Uh, FS, FSH. Uh, so, once again, now we're coming down to our testosterone total. So, my testosterone total is 500. 80% of people are going to fall kind of right here in the middle. This would actually be 500 nanograms per deciliter. Essentially, these are kind of like you know, the regular people, kind of, you know, the muggles. And I am doing what I've been doing with this amount of testosterone. Um, and my test of my free testosterone is 18.88. Now for, it says 5, 518, you want your testosterone to be between 240 to 950. Um, at 518, I feel great. My sex drive has is, is always been the same. I've always been a horny mofo. Um, my strength, as you can see, has always been there. My physical body, I don't feel like I look the greatest, you know, but I'm comfortable, you know, I kind of still can kind of eat whatever and still be fit, you know, but I'm pretty sure if I could just get my diet together and stuff, then of course I would look a lot better, but I'm kind of living freely right now, loving training, just loving life. That's how I like to live, I love life. And um, that's, you know, this is what I do. So 518 is honestly like, a very good number to have, especially for a natural. I know guys that are that have uh, that was watching videos. They have a higher number than me, and you know they look a lot better. I don't know the correlation between a high testosterone and looking better so much. Um, being in between the 240 and the 950 range, because I've seen guys with higher testosterone that look better, but they're you know not as strong as me. Uh, so 
I don't know. Um, and then I saw a video uh, about the SHBG, um, which says that I have 37.7, and um, the average is between 10 to 57. That's that's a normal range. So all the numbers that I'm giving you guys are literally almost dead center. Besides my free test, you know, my testosterone total 518. That's dead center. Uh, sex hormone binding globulin 37.7. That's dead pretty much dead center of the ranges that I'm given. Now, I've been here trying to prove myself to you guys for, I mean, this past couple of months. Um, I didn't ask for it. Whoever was coming at me, I didn't ask for it. Didn't ask me to put on the spot, you know? But I think it's time to really give my props, okay? Because I've been doing this. I know there's gonna be a whole bunch of you still not believing it or saying, how is he so strong at 500? I don't believe it, blah, blah, blah. Probably making something up to disbelief, but I am telling you, these are my results. You see it right here, right now. I'm coming chill, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, just, I'm tired, I'm tired of just, you know, going through this. And I just kinda wanna put that out there is that you can't tell somebody to that, oh, if I was, if I was, you know, like that, or people were telling me I'm on steroids, I would take it as a compliment. No disrespect, but they not, you know what I'm saying? So you really don't know that feeling if you haven't been through that. And the people that do do it, fine, cool. If you take it as a compliment, that's awesome, you know. And but you can't expect me not to react to it or get mad at it, you know. I've been battling this battle for a long time, and the, the fact that I'm finally, you know, putting myself out there and doing all this, you know, like I I want my honor, you know. I've been battling the 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 pressure of keeping it natural, staying natural amongst all these guys that are on gear, doing a lot better than me. And, you know, I'm constantly trying to stay humble about it and constantly just just be myself, you know, be true to myself in this whole, in, in all of it. And it's just a frustrating thing, especially when people are just constantly telling you you're lying or, you know, I don't believe you, like, stop lying. All you got to do is tell us the truth, Ron, and it's, 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 it's okay. There's nothing wrong with steroids and nothing. And it's like, there's nothing to lie about. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing to lie about. And that's what's the most frustrating thing about this whole just bullshit. So I am very curious to see what you guys um, are going to say about this, Greg, or more plates, more dates, or the black dude that be on Greg's ass all the time, whatever his video, his best friend, whatever the hell he is, I would like to see you guys, what you guys say about my stats, my report, um, of my, pretty much my blood test work, uh, because, you know, I, I don't, I don't like being made fun of like that when it comes to just saying that, how, how the, the whole, how to be, how to know you're a fake natty type stuff, you don't, you don't know, you don't know, you honestly don't, okay, because I've obviously proven myself right now so let's hear what you guys say i will leave um if you guys that are making the videos about me if you plan to make a video please comment below or your your email or whatever i will send you my report um to your email uh, personally so you have the full report and i know a more place more dates in one of the videos i was scheming through it a little too fast so that way you actually have your um own forms for you to go through but, um, I mean, that's all I pretty much have to say for this, because uh, I know a lot of, once again, a lot of you had an issue in saying that I was a joke because I wasn't showing my free test in um, total testosterone or SHBG. Um, so here is everything for you guys. Nothing else for me to say. Um, I hope, you know, I could hopefully lay this to rest. Honestly, this is kind of cool to see. It's something that I would honestly do like every two weeks or something just to see like you know how my uh levels maybe bounce around or something you know or with with certain foods or better cleaning up my diet better training um getting stronger um i feel like that'd be pretty cool so people can see uh the changes in the body from it i mean like everything cholesterol the test or whatever so um uh, we're going to uh, I'm, I'm down for it. I just, I, I just want content that does good. So if it does good, then for sure, I would be so down to continually do that. And, um, you know, we just constantly build off of it. And if the other guys want to constantly look at my uh, laboratory results as time goes on, that'd be awesome. So 
uh, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Um, check, follow my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash FBF from Matt TV. And uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.